Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to rank in Google Maps in under 12 minutes. I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. Now watch this. This video is dedicated to Darren Marion from Retail SEO. I miss you and I love you, brother. All right, guys, so today in today's example, I'm using the keyword roofer. And as we all know, we're trying to rank in Google Maps, which is right here. This is the most clicked on area for local search. You want to be right here. This could change your business, change your lifestyle if you were ranked right here. The problem is there's 200 other businesses trying to rank in this area. So we really have to do it right. This video, I'm going to show you. The, the things that you need to do. And if you do them, you will rank here. I'm not holding anything back. So if you're doing SEO yourself, or if you have an agency doing maps SEO for you, you need to buy a grid ranking software like Local Falcon, Local Dominator, that's uh, local dominator, dominator.co, and local or local Viking. Pick the one that you like the best. Local uh, uh, Falcon is $24 a month. So uh, if, if you're just starting, this one's fine. But this is going to show you where you're ranking in your area in a several mile radius, meaning that you registered your Google business profile at your business address or your home address. But when you drive three to five miles away, even a couple of blocks away, you're not ranking anymore if you check it again. That's no way to check your rankings by driving around town. What grid um, software will do will give you an accurate picture as to where you're ranking in your town. And it, you could not do SEO without it, and you can't hire an agency without checking their work. I don't have an affiliate uh, code right now. I'm not making any money with this. I'm just telling you that if you want to rank in the Google 3-pack, this is the first tool that you need to buy. So the next two tools are optional, but they really help because they help audit your competition's uh, GMB. And the first one I like is GMB Crush. And the next one is called GMB Everywhere. You could, you could buy them both or one or the other. Uh, what they do is they audit your competition's GMB. So for example, what they'll do is they will show you uh, uh, for example, in the example roofer, that the, the GMB category that, that your competition is using is roofing contractor. See, everybody's using roofing contractor. All right, guys, so we purchased local Falcon or some type of grid program to see where you're ranking. You also have an auditing, a GMB auditing software like a GMB Crush or GMB Everywhere. Now it's time to get into the website. So this is a, a client that we're working on called Anderson Metal Roofing. And let's kind of go through it. And some of the things that I speak about, you could take a look at your website and see if the, the changes that I'm saying make sense for yours. Okay. So underneath the logo, you should, you should put the areas that they service. On the right-hand side, it should be nice and big, the call now with the credit cards that you guys offer, right? If they take PayPal, Visa, American Express, Discover, that should be underneath the phone number, okay? Now, the home page should be set up using the, um, using the GMB category. The GMB category is roofing contractors, right? That's what we had said before, that roofing contractors was the uh, GMB category. So we could say uh, commercial and residential roofing contractors in Anderson, South Carolina. Or we could say something like uh, Google five-star rated roofing contractors in Anderson, Ca Carolina. Anderson, South Carolina are the best, right? So this is your H1 tag. Everything in your H1 tag should be your GMB category, which is roofing contractors, and Anderson, South Carolina. You need to have this in your GMB category. You need to have it in your 
in your title tag, roofing contractors, Anderson, South Carolina, right? And you need to have it in your, uh, like I said, your H1 tag. Okay. You want to make sure that you double up your phone number. You have it here on the right-hand side, and then you want your call to action. B, take a look at your website. I've seen websites with as many as seven calls to action. They have a little pop-up button where you could text them. They have the phone number. They have a form to fill out. You could reach them on, on Facebook. It's too much. Don't confuse people. If you want calls, nice big phone number and double it up underneath your statement. Okay? As we scroll down, every all the H tags, which are these big tags right here, should all be about roofing contractor and roofing services, Anderson, South Carolina. Right? They should all say roofing and or South Carolina, Anderson, South Carolina. So take a look at your H tags and, and make sure that that's what they say. Okay? The next thing, a very big mistake that people make are uh, embedding the wrong map. So the way that you could check it is that when you click the map, you should be able to see your reviews. What happens is people... Uh, put the uh, address map here or the map of the city, and it's not the GMB map. It has to be the GMB map. The GMB map must be embedded on your website. Okay, guys, so let's speak about keywords and trying to rank here in Google Maps in regards to the keywords. So if you take, if you take a look at this keyword roofing and we scroll down, you'll notice that the top person Ridge Top Exteriors, 881 uh, reviews. The second person has 39, and the third person has 555. This would not be a category that I would pick first. I would pick roofers first, because take a look. For roofers, we have... 39, 26, and 60. Bay uh, Ridge Top is a, is a sponsored ad, so they're paying to be there. But look at the competition. They only have 39, whereas you're going against people with 800 and 500 on roofing. However, for roofers, right, very similar keyword, has less reviews. Guys, whatever you do, you do not want to buy reviews. You don't want there ever to be a chance of getting your listing suspended. So please do not do that. We want all signals coming from this area around here in the circle, meaning that we want to show that we do work in this area and we want to show that customers are talking about us in this area, just around in this circle. If, if, it's not within the circle, it doesn't matter to us. If it's all the way out here, <laughs> right? This doesn't matter to us. This doesn't matter to us. We just care about this red area and getting signals from this area right here. All right, guys, so the next thing that's a very good idea is, is getting backlinks. It, it, it really is a challenge for some people because getting backlinks can be difficult. But let me show you an easy way. Remember something, we want backlinks that are in our area. So for example, I live in Tampa, so we want backlinks from Tampa and we want backlinks from the industry that, that we, we serve. So for example, we're, we're roofers. For example, in this example, I'm a roofer. So my best backlinks are gonna come from uh, websites that are located in Tampa and websites that speak about roofing. So what we're going to do is just come over to Google and we're going to type in leave a reply and we'll put that in quotation marks. And then we'll put Rufa Tampa. So leave a reply, Rufa Tampa. So basically what we're looking for are blogs where we're able to leave a reply. We come to the first one we click that and and you know the reason why i like clicking on the first on the first couple is that the domain authority is very high right so we don't have to do any checks with sem rush hrefs if they're on the first position in google they have a lot of authority and look at this we're able to leave a reply so 
What, the next question is, well, what are we going to write? Well, if we type in Tampa Roofing into Google and we scroll down to the bottom, there are a bunch of questions so or related searches. Um, um, okay, let's say Tampa Roofing Company Reviews. I'll come over to Chat GPT Company. I gotta learn how to spell reviews. Please write 200 words. Okay? So, right here, there we go, boom. <laughs> 200 words, you're going to read this, and you're going to make a couple of corrections if it's needed, and you'll come over to the blog, and you'll paste it in. There we go. We have a great article that even if they read it, they go, that's great. You put your name in, you put your address, and now what I want to do is I want to link these pages either to the home page, to the roofing page, or the areas we serve page. To keep it simple, just link it back to the home page. It's okay. Link it back to the home page. All right, guys. So the last tip that I have, we have to go back to reviews. Let's click on Bay Area Roofing and let's check out his re his reviews or her reviews, right? So we click reviews. We really want to take a look at these keywords here, right? These are the words that are that are said the most amount of times. But more importantly, we want to see when they got their newest review. So in the they're in the first place, but it looks like it would, their, their last review was a week ago. Okay, you want to make sure that you uh, reply to every review. You'll notice they still have not replied to your review and that's going to hurt the rankings after a while, okay? So you want to make sure that you could keep the reviews up. If if this person's doing, you know, uh, looks like they're getting a review, you know, every other week or something like that, you want to, you want to try to increase your reviews. I would say that, um, you know, anywhere between three to five reviews a week, six reviews, seven reviews pushing it. If you're a small business and your competition has 60 or 70 reviews, three to five reviews should be perfect. You want to make sure you do this. You use the keyword. You use the city. You use the owner's name. You use the business name. And uh, you put in stuff like... Uh, they were affordable, punctual, on time, stuff like that, right? Um, that the, Adding that information is really important in, in Google. So increase your reviews. If, you, if you're only getting a couple of reviews um, a month, you need to increase it to three to five per week at least. And if you could um, get a couple more than that, then that's even better. Guys, I hope this lesson helped you. I know I went slightly over the 12 minutes, but um, if you just do these things, I guarantee you're going to improve your rankings and you'll be in the Google three pack in no time. Please be good to your family. Kiss your wife, kiss your kids. Be good to your family. That This is the reason why we do this and, and, and let's not ever forget it. Guys, have a great day. Enjoy. Thank you.